Hey guys, what's up? Season Salt here. We're going to be discussing a application for screen mirroring and recording called Samsung Side Sync. Now, this application is for Samsung uh, devices only, as I'm using the Samsung Galaxy S6. It's compatible with other Samsung devices as well. So, we're going to download the Side Sync application here on the Google Play Store to our phones, and we're also going to download the Samsung Side Sync PC client. Uh, for our computer. Now, there's two ways to connect to Samsung Side Sync. We use uh, for today's method. Uh, we're going to be using the USB cable charger into our actual computer. Now, this is going to give you the best quality possible with Side Sync. There's another way to connect using the Wi-Fi method. However, that's going to give you a little bit of degraded quality and performance. Um, however, with the USB into the computer. You must be aware that you must be made aware that your phone will lose a charge over time. So, for those of you guys who stream for X, uh, maybe seven hours a day, uh, keep an eye on your battery just in case you have to switch to the Wi Fi method uh, in the middle of your stream. But with that being said, we're going to start the side sync application on our phones. Scroll over here, that's what it looks like right there. We're going to click that. And then we're going to open it for the PC as well. And now you'll see that this menu pops up. It says the connected to uh, connected to Galaxy S6 via USB. And we're going to click on this icon here that says phone screen. Bam, we'll hit that up. And now you'll see our phone screen is there, which is pretty cool. I can actually use my mouse screen. If I click down uh, my mouse button, I can click down here and I can scroll using my mouse. So there we go. Go back to the home page. But you'll notice that the screen is black, which sucks. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on this arrow on your desktop screen. A drop-down menu box will pop up. You'll click Enable Presentation Mode. And bam, you'll see now, my phone, I can control what's on my computer as well at the same time. And it's real-time, no lag whatsoever, and I have the audio. So for streamers, you're also going to want to click here again, and you're going to hit Rotate. And then you're also going to uh, want to enlarge it, probably to around here. This is probably safe enough, because the resolution that it comes natively is a little too small, and it, the words, for those of you guys who play games like Clash of Clans and things with a lot of words in them, uh, it's going to show a little blurry. So you just enlarge it, and it'll automatically raise the resolution. But for this tutorial, I'm actually going to raise it a lot. This is not recommended, but I'm just going to do this so I can show you guys what... GTA Vice City looks like on the Samsung side sync. Now check this out. This is real time. I have some audio here, which is pretty darn cool. We'll lower the volume here. And we'll load it up. Oh, we're not going to do a new game. Oh, I crashed it. Anyways, go back up again. There we go. Resume game. Bingo. Let's move that mouse screen out of the way. As you can see, I'm already in the car. We'll just start driving. There we go. And this is the best quality that you're going to get. Near 60 frames per second. Driving like a madman. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. If you guys have any questions on how to get this set up. Uh, for most streamers that this video is going to be applying to, you guys already know this. Uh, what you can do here. You, uh, for those of you who are using MobiZen to capture your screen, you can actually use the game capture feature in OBS to capture this directly. You don't have to worry about resizing your monitor or using monitor capture. Samsung Side Sync does work with uh, the OBS game capture feature. So as you can see here, I mean, this is running pretty darn smooth if you have to ask me. And uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think. And if you guys have any questions, I'll be sure to answer in a timely fashion. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.